Table Alert, hottest in the city. I'm Sharu Anthony the Dawn, and to today we are here with Skrilla Ben Lit Fair Four. You know the fucking vibe. We here. All right, all right, all right. So, um, where did that name come from? Let's let's get let's start with that. Like, you, how'd you get that name? What's going on with that? Shit, I ain't gonna hold. You. I had many different names. You feel me? But long story short. Got caught some legal trouble. I was some. I was named before that. Got some legal trouble. Changed my name up. Feel me? And like not for nothing. So Skrilla came about. And then Ben Lit is like, if you know, you know. But you know, I've been lit. You feel me? Like I've been doing this weird shit. Like this is not nothing new to me. Feel me? Like I've been doing this shit for a minute. You feel me? I've rapped since I was 12, 13 years old. So like I've really been lit. So how old are you now? 27 now. All right. So you've been you've been putting in that time, that, that time and that work and that effort and all that energy, you know. That's a fact. Been in the fields for me for a long time. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Um, tell us a little something about your first viral video. I ain't gonna hold you. Shout out to my bro Drew Foreign. Shout out to Rolito. My first viral video. I ain't gonna hold you. I put me on the map with Steppers. I go. We went crazy on that one. Feel me? Shout out to Drew Foreign. Free him. No free the guys. Free shout. Free TJ. Free drive. But that, that was my first, first viral video, for me? We had a little event, and they could just turn that shit up. I mean, everywhere we go, we turn that shit up. I mean, every video, feel me? Every video, you look up the gang, every video we do go viral. You know what I'm saying? So it's, so it's just like, it's regular to us, but, you know, they just got to tap in. All right, that's what it is. I mean, a lot of energy. Feel me? So, so, so what, where you originally from? Tell, tell the people about that. I'm from Crown Heights. I'm from Brooklyn Crown, you feel me? Before I'm over, I be trying to slow size, you feel me? Clean, shit like that. I mean, but I'm originally from Crown Heights. Okay, all right, that's cool, that's cool. Um, tell us a little something about being locked up. I mean, what, what, how, was, how was that experience? <laughs> that shit ain't fun, I can tell you that much, you feel me? Like, that shit is a, shit is a dog, you feel me? Like, not for nothing, like, you could do that shit, that shit, that shit, like, but it's really a mental thing, really, it's the mental part that really fuck with you. The physical shit, being there, shaking us, that's regular shit. It's really the mental shit. Like, like you want to go home, you can't go home. You feel like you a changed man, but you can't do that shit because you stuck there. You got mad plans you want to do. Like, you know for sure it's going to get you a bag. You can't do it because you stuck, you feel me? So that shit's like a, a big obstacle, you feel me? And it's, like, it's really like a mental, emotional shit for me. Physical shit is regular shit. Oh, wow. So, mm -hmm. so like, I mean, for, for me personally, of course, I've, I've been incarcerated before. Um, actually, I just finished doing 17 years. All right. Um, but, um, I'm glad you're home, my yeah, boy. Thank, thank, thank you, bro. Thank appreciate yeah, you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Blessing, bro. Where the mother, bro? Um, one of the things that I had learned and I see a lot of individuals didn't learn because sometimes, you know, especially when you do long stretches, you see people come back and forth. So one of one of the major things that I I took from it was was patience. So you have to have patience because you know everything's not going to work out exactly when you want it to work out. It might right. the plan might work, but not exactly how you want it or when you want it. You know what I'm That's saying? A fact. So tell us a little something about like you know some of the trials and tribulations that you may have had because you know everybody sees the success part. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the behind the scenes. Uh, you know, or the things that's going on with your music career, you know what I'm saying, that, that you know, with trials and tribulations, or uh, things that you learn from not to do again, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, I ain't gonna never do that again, you know what I mean? So that's tell right. us a little bit about that. Here, fuck, this music shit, that shit got us ups and it got us downs, you feel me? It's like, just like you said, bro, don't just look at the success, this mad shit behind the scenes that happens that nobody even knows, you feel me? when niggas putting together their last dollar to shoot a video, you feel me? And like, we don't shoot no bullshit video. We shooting, feel me, some viral shit, foreign, girls, all type of shit, like shit, feel yeah, me? You gotta like, scrape up that money. You feel me? You feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah. feel me? Like, and even then, like, it's like, you know, it's like, you really wanna do some shit, and you know you can do it, and you don't got the supporters behind you as well, you know what I'm saying? And that shit will deter you as well. But you just gotta know what you want and really believe in yourself, feel me? Fuck what everybody else think. Fuck all that shit, bro. Feel me? God gonna make a way, no matter what. What you put in this life is what you're gonna get out of it. You feel yeah, me? Okay. That's just that's just how the world works for me. Yeah, you feel no, me? That's how the world works, period. You but feel yeah. me? Like, don't don't expect to get a million dollars. You're not and you put in the work to get five dollars. Shit, you it don't, it don't add up. Yeah. It don't make sense. You feel me? Yeah, no, I like that. I like that. That was good. Um, cue the buck for us. This music shit, this shit just come natural, you feel me? It's a vibe. It's like like 
we go crazy like for this shit, feel me? It just flows very well, you know what I'm saying? So it's like we don't be in there for like hours and none of that shit. When we go in there and knock a song out 30, 45 minutes, feel me? And it's gonna sound good because we know what we do. We know what the people want to hear. We know what people like, you know what I'm saying? And for me, it's forever foreign. Everything we do is foreign. For me, everything drippy. Everybody gonna jack what we do, you feel me? That's it. So it's just like, it's all, it's all a vibe. You can't think really too hard into it. You think too hard into it, you're gonna try to be perfectionist and you will never drop shit. And I used to be like that, you feel me? I used to be a nigga, I had 300 songs in my phone, bro, recorded. Everybody say that shit finally to drop and I won't drop nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that also comes with having that confidence and really believing in yourself, you feel me? Fuck if people don't like your music, bro. Make sure you like that shit. I mean, so, if you like that shit, that's all that matters, bro. That's all that matters. And, mm -hmm. it, and trust me, it's going to be somebody out there that likes it. Facts. You know what I mean? So all, that, all you have to do is tap into that, that energy, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what's a regular day like for you? You know that. You don't got to have a Zaza <laughs> all throughout the day. Wake up yeah. before you go to bed and yeah. wake up again. You feel I me? Know, <laughs> yeah, I be knowing. You feel me? But feel me, a regular day really just for me. You're just vibing. So with the members, get doing these bookings, going to shows, recorded music, feel me? Getting to the bag, feel me? Taking care of our kids, feel me? shit like that, feel me? You know, niggas, feel me? We grown now, feel me? We have been past that player block shit, feel me? If ain't a bag involved, feel me? And what's the point? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Shit gotta make sense. So, so you got kids? Yeah, I got a son. Okay, all right, how old, if I might he, ask? He two. Okay, all right, so you yeah. going through it right now. <laughs> At two, everything is no, <laughs> no. Yeah, no, he, he, no, he they, they, yeah, they, they, they do what they want at two. Fact, plus that's my son, so I already know the type of time yeah, he on. So like, yeah. he, he on, he on VT. I yeah, yeah, I understand. He gonna do what he wanna do. You know what I mean? mother. All right, so um, any artists that you wanna work with? Um, I don't really work with anybody. I really gonna put that pain in the in the stool for me, but. An artist that I really want to work with, I ain't going to hold you five. Hold oh, five, that's, that's the guy right there. I ain't going to hold you five. Let, let, let him know. Feel me, yo, five. Yeah. Tap in, this is Brooklyn, you heard? Stop feel me, I really, feel me, I get sturdy in that booth. Feel me, you got to tap in, bro. Uh -huh. Motherfucker, we can make a hit. Gangsta. Okay. There you go, feel that's me? what it's about. Right. Definitely five, I ain't going to lie. All right. Um, any deals? You got any deals on the table? Any regular labels? Any, you know, any big situations? Um, right now? Right now we just we just work we in talks and shit we just work this shit just trying to feel me figure figure out something what's the best way to go for me what's what and we just trying to feel me iron things out. All right, so um, you gotta do you have a big family support? Of course, if I got family support me feel me. Plus the members the members of my family too so these big family that's for me my brothers for me I don't got friends I got brothers you know what I'm saying so that's my family too so my support system is there you can see on the grand. See who support me and all that shit, shit for me, and I support them too. I mean, we all building something together for a bigger picture. Oh, there you go. That's what I like. I like to hear things like that. You know what I mean? Um, outside of uh, music, you, are you inspiring for anything? You know, some people they like to um, start fashion lines and things of that nature. You know what I mean? Some people want to get into movies or whatever. What's what's on your mind? Um. Definitely want to tie it to the fashion, you feel me? I did a little fashion thing back in, back in the days, you feel me? Went to school for it and all that, you feel me? Shit was dog, but I, I still got that, you feel me? You can, you can see the drip, you feel me? I want to do that. Um, I'm in school for real estate right now. Okay, got I'm school. Yeah. Need that. Like, yeah. Need, need, yeah. need that, feel me? Need that passive income, need that. Need that back, you feel me? Don't be sitting there thinking what you doing right now going to sustain you. Need different avenues, need seven, eight different hustles. That's how millionaires get money. That's, That's how right. they stay rich as well. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? They have more than one income. They Thanks never rely well. on just one income. So that's that's a beautiful thing right there. Um, if there is like any fears with this hip hop thing, what, what what would be one of your biggest fears? If you had any fears at all? <clears throat> um, one of the biggest fears I had with people not liking my music. But now, I don't give a fuck. Niggas gonna jack my vibe, feel me? They see what's going on, you see what's going on. Feel me? They see what I'm talking, how I'm talking. And my shit authentic, I'm really living what I rap about. It ain't, feel me? Like, when, it, when it's real, you can feel it, feel me? You listen to our music, you're like, all right, sun up to something. You feel me? Even, even all my brothers, too, we all up to something. You know, you know what's going on, feel me? A lot of positive energy. 
Thanks. And if they ain't jacking it, they ain't jacking it. Fuck them, man. Yeah, fuck them. There's yeah. other niggas that go jack it. That's what I'm trying to tell you, you know now, man. Mean? That's a fact. Um, what about uh, acting? You ever thought about like going into that field, or you know, are you doing anything with acting? You got anything coming up? Hell yeah, I'm gonna get into acting. Feel me? I definitely get into acting. But actors definitely want one of the list. I mean, you know, a lot of times some 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 individuals they just. They think that they can't do certain things in life, and that's what stops them right, right there. For me, it's niggas act that on in their 40s, you feel me? So it's like, they ain't, there, there's always ways to get in. For me, you don't even gotta be a rapper, you be a producer, songwriter, engineer, videographer. You could be mad different shit. And like you said, the hip hop shit will open doors to many different shit. But like I said, I'm in real estate. Get that check. Copyright in real estate, off rip, you feel me? Got, gotta. You gotta do something, you can't just get a bag and just sit there and spend the thing you gonna be, feel me? You know I mean? You gotta really think what you're doing. Don't just be moving in this world trying to impress people. Really get that bag and do what you gotta do to get your people, you feel me? Yeah. So basically, what's your ultimate goal if you have one? Shit, my ultimate goal? Kill a buck? I just want me and my family Gucci, you feel me? Like, of course, niggas want that stardom, feel me? Like, Top, all the top billboard and shit. That's dope for me, but as long as I'm comfortable and my family's comfortable and the people I care about are comfortable, I'm Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really all it is. That's really my ultimate goal. For everybody be comfortable, not worry about a bill or none of that shit. You know what I mean? Life shit is just crazy, you feel me? Especially now, that shit is crazy, you feel me? So you gotta hold your loved ones close for me and, and take care of responsibilities. Do you have any, like, Overseas situations coming up. I definitely got an overseas situations. Shout my boy Kabuki, feel me? He be playing me on Threads Radio every other week, feel me, in London. UK, feel me? Shout my boy Easy. I got a record with him in London. We got a video we're gonna do. So I definitely gotta go out there. <clears throat> London is top of the list. All right, um, so just like um, shout out to every all your fans. Let them know if anybody that doesn't know right now where they can find you at. Shit, you can find me everywhere on any platform. Skrilla been lit. That's S C R I double L A H B I N L I T. Feel me? Make sure you get it right when you feel me. That's Skrilla been lit. You are. You I got three projects out right now. Feel me? I got a video of my bro Rodrigo coming out, Brooklyn, Ohio. So it's dropping real soon. Feel me? Forever fun. We just going up. Everything we do is a movie. Everything is viral. Feel me? Just free the homies, free the members, free Drew, free Shaw, free TJ, free Dre. I mean, that's about it. Shout out to Tape Alert. Let's go. Let's get this back. I mean, make sure you tune in. Don't just watch this shit. Don't tune in. Tap in because we got some shit coming for y'all. You are. I made 30000 off a piece and fuck it up in just a week. I talk money, combo never cheap. You need a bag stand next to me. Hop on the phone, SRT the Jeep. Bentley Bentega. Hold on. Tape Alert on the beat.